Hello my little butterflies, in this video is going to be the Louisiana book tag. First of all, yeah, let me just say I'm sorry because I know like it's dark now outside for real and when I started filming today I didn't think the picture was going to be too cute but now I know it probably don't look too good. So I just want to apologize for that. Um, this tag was created by Whitney from A Darker Shade of Whitney and this is another local that I found through booktube. I found two so far. I want to put the link to her channel and the link to this video if y'all want to do it. Um, even though y'all are from Louisiana, I'm pretty sure y'all are welcome to do it. Also, if y'all are from Louisiana, that'll be great. Y'all should let me know in the comments if y'all see this, if y'all from Louisiana. I just want to see more of y'all. And y'all should do this though, of course. Um, there's 12 questions, I believe, and I did not pre-think out any questions. I watched the video, but I did not pre-think out any answers, so I'm sorry. The first question is, King Cake, what is your most anticipated book of the year? I kind of got my most anticipated book of the year. That was King's Cage by Victoria Aviar. Um, I haven't finished reading it, don't shoot me, but... Uh, I've been reading a whole bunch of other damn books on top of it, y'all. I just need to just sit down and read that one. But that's my most anticipated book of the year. It already came out. It came out in February. So, it already came out. The next one is Beignet, a trope you'll always love. Um, I don't know. I can't say that there is a trope that I'll always love because it all depends on how the author handles, it, handles the trope. Because that could be a trope that I love, but then this one author might come along and fuck it up. And it's like terrible, I might hate it in that specific book. So, that's not really a trope that I always love. Because it's different for everybody. It's, it depends on how the author, you know, handles it and how they, how they write with it. it. It all depends on the author. drive through Daiquiri Shack. What y'all know about that? I shouldn't know anything about that. I haven't turned 21 until July. In a month, y'all, I'm about to be 21. I get my own alcohol. But um, a book that does or didn't quite make sense. Um, Let me see. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I've read a book that I felt like did not make any damn sense. You know, look at that. of one that I, I didn't think make any total sense but I guess I would have to say Crossed by Ali Condi which is the second book in the match trilogy and I say that didn't make any sense because we spent the whole book doing what? Doing nonsense and it's like what was the purpose of doing all of this? Like did we really need to go through all of that to get to this? It really made no sense at all to me to keep me in that dry ass book for that long for what side of the road produce stands who gives the best recommendations um this is hard because um i can't really say any because no one person always gives the best recommendations because there could be books that you like that i just don't enjoy whatsoever um what do you think She's not a booktuber whatsoever, but I'm gonna have to say my friend Alicia. She reads like I read, and usually when she recommends a book to me, it's really good. Like she doesn't really recommend any bad books to me. She usually recommends good books to me. I can always count on a recommendation for her. Does she recommend me books every week? No, she doesn't. But when she does give me recommendations, they're really good. The next question is crawfish, which I ate earlier today and also yesterday. And that is a book that everyone loves, even you. Um, I would have to say Red Queen. No, 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 no. Because everybody doesn't. I've heard some very bad things about Red Queen that are blasphemy. But I'm going to have to say Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Everybody loves that freaking book. I love that freaking book when I read it. And I said, I didn't say the whole series because I haven't read the whole series. But I haven't heard anyone say they didn't like freaking Harry Potter. So I'm just going to say Harry Potter as a whole. But I've only read the Sorcerer's Stone. So I'm definitely going to say Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Gumbo, which is something that I was craving a few days ago, and that is a book that you can't pinpoint the genre of. I have no idea, yo. Cause all the books that I've read, I pretty much know the genre of. I don't think there's a book that I have that 
I'm not sure on the genre. So I'm gonna have to pass on that one because I kind of, you know, I don't know. It's either one or two things to me when I'm reading a book. It's either one genre or the other because some things are fantasy and sci-fi. Some things can be historical fiction and like fantasy mixed in or historical fiction and sci-fi. You know, it's usually, it's either one or two genres. I, I've never really had a book. And then if, I, if it's not none of those, if it's not fantasy or sci-fi, I can definitely say that it's contemporary most of the time. So it's not a book that I have that I can't pinpoint the genre of. Um, oh, Thin Fried Catfish. A short book with a big impact. Um, I'm going to have to say Little Peach by Peggy Kern, which is a book that I read in April. It's a very short book. It's only a hundred and something pages. And, and it's a little book at that. And it does have a, a big impact because even though I only gave it three out of five stars, it's just the fact that of the topic that is touching on the subject matter that it's touching on. And it really makes you think and it really makes you sit there and think about all of this stuff that's going on because it's real life stuff that's happened with, you know, the human trafficking with children. How many children that y'all know do y'all see on these flies of do, do you see me? And a lot of people will tell you if they didn't find a body, nine times out of ten they have been trafficked and that really makes you think about stuff like that and it's kind of scary in this world especially when i have a daughter it's scary and it's like i don't want to be one of those overprotective parents that's like afraid for her to go outside because i don't want anyone to take her you know but it, it, it's, it's scary like even me somebody could take me if they wanted to take me and sometimes i get off of work at 11 o'clock at night people could steal me if they wanted to and it, make, it really makes you think. I mean, they don't have to fight for me because, you know, I'm not going out without a fight. But it's, it's kind of scary to think about, you know? The next one is Raggedy Truck. <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover. Choose a book with a bad or good cover that wasn't what you expected. Animal Form by George Orwell. And I said this so fast because um, I was just talking about this book with my mom earlier. Uh, my brother had, it's one of his required readings for the summer. One of his summer, on his summer reading list. So I was telling her I love that book, but the cover is so plain and it's like, it's not, it's something that wouldn't want to make people read it. So I had to say Animal Form and I love that book. I love that book so freaking much and it's just, it has such a bigger picture. Like while you're reading it, it's like, in those days I did not read the preface. So I went straight to chapter one and it took my brother to like really tell me the bigger picture because I was like, <laughs> you know like teenage years because I enjoy reading that book so that book is definitely a book I can say it is a raggedy truck ah I was feeling like this yesterday y'all the next question is heat stroke a book you were forced to endure this is also easy I'm gonna say crossed well yeah no you know what I'm gonna say crossed and reached by Anna Kanye which is the second and last book in the match trilogy because it feel like those books just drug on for so freaking long and took so long to get through it and it feel like it's something that could have been done in a lesser pace than what was took up and it just i you know but that is definitely a heat struggle it was so freaking hot yesterday y'all i'm scared for this summer i can see this summer i'm gonna be spending my off days inside sorry baby but we're gonna be spending these off days inside this is just it's just too hot Outside, this Louisiana summer was a no joke at all. I'm dead. Taxi. Here, boy. Keep dying. I'm dead. I'm finished. Oh, snowball stand. A book with a satisfying ending. What's a book that I've ended recently that I was satisfied with? Oh, um, well, it's not the end of the series, but the end of the book pretty much satisfied me. Um, Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I love that book, and I read it a whole lot faster than I thought I was going to. It's just once I started reading, I couldn't stop. I really enjoyed it. The ending really did satisfy me, and I have started. I just have yet to start reading it. But the book ended so good to a point where it's like, oh, yes, this series is going to be freaking good. I think I gave it a five out of five stars. Or maybe I, no, I think I maybe gave it a four or four and a half um, out of five stars. One of those. But I really did enjoy it. It had a really, really good ending. I really loved that book. 
And I hate when I see people say they didn't like it because I feel bad. So I'm like, oh my god, I wish you would have liked it because I know how I felt when I read it. I was like, oh, this is really good. Better than I thought it was going to be. So, I don't know. Maybe it's because I didn't, I didn't like Cinderella originally because I felt like she just was a pushover. And I was like, she take too much. And then reading this really brought Cinderella in a new light of a new version of Cinderella. And I was like, yes, I like this Cinderella. She's the bomb. Jambalaya. A book that you have a different opinion about than the majority. Ew. <laughs> Did my arm taste good to you? Um, Lumberjanes. The first one. Um, I don't know if people be talking about Lumberjanes as a whole. It's all together, like as a complete volume. Or just as one book. No, you know what? I changed my answer. I mean, that's also one I didn't like either. Like, Lumberjanes is the first one. I did not like it. Because I just felt it was so short, too short, didn't know anything what was going on. But the whole volume, I like the whole volume. But what I want to change my answer to is The Accident Season by, uh, I can't remember her name. It was Maury, Ma Maury Fow Foley, something like, Maury Dove, something like that. I'm close. Um, but everybody was talking about how much they love this book. And I'm so glad I ended up checking this book out the library that went buying it. So I did think I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars, not a good way. Um, I just, it's just so many things was hit or miss for me on this, on that book. Everybody that I know that's bringing it up on book 2 was saying how much they enjoyed it. It was just so good. And I was like, and it was like a big thing on book 2 at one point. So I was like, I, I always wanted to read it because everybody was saying how good it was. And I read it and I was like, really? This is what everybody was like, this is not even the best book I read this month. There's no way. Like, no way. It's not, it wasn't, and I was expecting big things from it, and it, it was not, it wasn't good at all. So, that ended up being a, I mean, I finished it, but it, it was three out of five stars, man, like, I, I, I think I did a review for it, and I, I think I did, if I did, I'll put it on the eye bill. The last question is Hurricane, a book that destroyed you. Um, Allegiance. Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Is that who wrote it? Yeah, that's who wrote it. And it destroyed me because of the ending. I have not had a book destroy me like that since. And I could have took this question many ways as a book that I had high hopes for that destroyed me. But I just like, I want to say a book that I like that destroyed me. That destroyed me because I wasn't expecting that. I hadn't, I don't remember reading a book like that, like a fan, like a fiction book where it ended like that because usually it doesn't end like that so I wasn't expecting it and it killed me and I was like really shocked and pissed off that it ended that way there's a bonus question the bonus question is the hurricane of freak flood has passed and you waited out of your flooded neighborhood and only one of your books or series has survived which ones do you hope it is um Red Queen duh and um I would hope that an ember and the ashes has survived as well um the two books that i do have for the lunar chronicles which is cinder and scarlet um i pray that my twilight book survived which i don't have the whole series for that i just have twilight so i pray to god that that survived um let me see <laughs> which ones do which ones do y'all Snow Like Ashes. I, I wish Snow Like Ashes survived. I hope that survived. Harry Potter. I hope Harry Potter survived. Um, I don't want to make my books feel bad, but sorry, y'all. This is the, this is the, 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 the starting five or whatever, I guess. Um, we're going to end it right there. Those are the series that I hope survived through this flood. I'm praying to God that those are the ones that survived. I just, I, I pray that it was. It probably wasn't, because some of them are on this bottom show. But I pray that they survived the flood enough. You know, I have to get a blow dryer and blow through the pages on my incredible vibe, you know. So yeah, that is all of the questions to this wonderful tag. Um, I have one person in mind that I want to tag because she is a Louisiana booktuber and that is Missy from 85 Bookworm. Um, I would like to tag her to do this video, to do this tag. Other than her, I don't really have anybody specific that I want to tag. Um, no shade. Ten of y'all that's not from Louisiana. I just definitely wanted to tag a Louisiana person to do the tag and keep the keep it rolling with you know like the Louisiana booktubers doing this tag. But I also want to tag all of y'all like y'all don't have to be from Louisiana to do this tag. So don't feel like no pressure. Uh, no Louisiana book tag. I'm not from Louisiana. I can't do that tag. Yes, you can. 
So I want to tell y'all to do this book tag, do this tag as well. I just didn't think about anybody that I wanted to tag before I actually sat down and did this video. I just know this is a video that I wanted to do. I didn't think about people that I wanted to tag, but I know her for sure. I want to tag. I didn't think about anybody else that I might have wanted to do this tag. So I'm sorry, but um, yeah. Any of y'all like do, that love doing tags? I tag y'all to do this tag. Okay, so. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching my video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Can you tell them bye, baby? Say bye-bye. I think you're too short. I don't even know if the camera can see you. But tell them. Say bye. Say bye. I'm going to take my nap. Bye-bye. You don't care. I know. This is not your thing. That's cool.